Today, we like to welcome our monthly meeting for Center Vasis. Welcome Didi Nirmala from Gyan Sarovar. And our topic is seed stage. It's very, very important topic for all of us to understand and increase the practice of the seed stage. So we requested Didi Nirmala to give us class on seed stage. Then there will be questions answers also. You can send your questions on chat box. Okay, Didi Nirmala, you can start. जरा पंखा भी बंद ये भी निकाल दो पंखा भी जरा बंद कर ओम शांति ओम शांति प्लीज से ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति तो our most important subject is remembers. And remembrance most powerful stage is seed stage. We start with churning yarn, chit chat with Baba, going to the subtle region, but now it's time to be in a seed stage. We have to be a dot, merge in Baba, love the dot, and forget body, bodily relations, old world. And we have to see that we don't have any bondage to bhakti, gurus, and our aim is to absolve our sinful karma and change our sanskaras. So seed stage. It works like lighthouse, might house. And just as seed supplies water to the entire tree, so when we stay in that state, entire world receives light and might. Just as lighthouse remains in one place, but spreads light all around. Same way, we are the world benefactor and spread the light all around. So we have to be very powerful. Lighthouse with high power, we can spry, spread light to a great distance. Just as sun is able to spread its light, 
same way we the master son of knowledge are able to spread light of knowledge as well as might we can destroy our own evil sanskars and the evil sanskars of others so when we are in that lighthouse stage and moving around others will see circle of light around our head and through our words they will experience might of knowledge so once we become the master seed form with our light and might we will be image of vision seed stage is like a fire which will absolve our karmic accounts not only of this birth but of many past births when the tree is in the last stage seed comes at the top we the master creators remain standing on the top of the kalpa tree with brahma baba and spread the rays of power virtues good wishes and pure feeling just like sun being very high can spread the rays around the world we can the master seed can spread the rays of light and might and give the water to the whole tree so while sitting in yoga select one of the self respect point i am master seed world benefactor a vyakt angel and then you will experience powerful remembrance seed stage will automatically give souls experience of time and baba if you simply go in expansion we waste our time but if we stay in seed stage and give gyan the result will be success and impressive at amratvela try to sit in seed stage that's the best time we can have elevated stage amratvela is the time to use the blessing in a worthwhile way it will have influence in our whole days remembrance if amrit vela is powerful whole day our remembrance will be very good seed stage will destroy seed of maya if some seeds are destroyed by fire they will never be able to give fruit sometimes we try to cut the branches one wise another wise etc 
but if we destroy the seed of maya then we will not have to work hard again and again to chop different branches all maya will be destroyed for seed stage we need powerful break to our mind and intellect so that we are able to stop unnecessary negative thoughts etc and either we have powerful break or we should have more power to more just as if there is obstacle either we have to stop or mold our vehicle in the same manner we should have power to mold also then we will not waste our energy so we have to increase our power to judge and discern so when we are sitting in meditation it is possible to stay in one state all the time it might be boring so try to have different variety sometimes light house sometimes might house sometimes the seed on the top of the tree jewel of forehead sitting on the throne so variety will help us to be entertain and powerful if there is any leakage wastage of energy or thoughts like ordinary thoughts then there is no powerful remembrance try to have powerful thoughts and stage and it will be easy to have seed stage so we should try to have our attitude vibrations atmosphere powerful and obstacle free we have to be merciful have good wishes and pure feelings then this light and might will reveal bab dada people will have vision of baba's light so seed stage will be making us image of vision through us people have vision of baba or vision of their special deities om shanti so now we are open for questions mira ben you have few questions already can you start om shanti there is one question that the uh, already came in otherwise uh, there is no question in the chat box yet so one question i already received is um there are different stages in yoga and as didi have said has said baba also says that often we choose heart to heart conversation either it's easier than etc <laughs> it's easier than seat stage 
As we want to motivate ourselves for the seed stage, what do you feel is the difference in vibration that enters the soul in terms of vibrational power that enters the soul when the soul is in the seed stage and when the soul is in heart-to-heart -heart conversation? Because uh, if we understand the difference in vibrational power, maybe that will inspire us to go for seed stage more. So the difference in the vibrational power. Definitely when we are in a stage stage, there is more power. And it can spread vibration to a long distance of whatever I'm feeling. If I'm feeling ocean of love, vibration of waves of love, then people will experience that love. Whereas in sweet conversation, it's a stage of experiencing sweetness with conversation with Baba. And in that, people will feel that sweetness, but that will not absorb our sinful karma or will not help us to change our impure sanskars. So it has got double advantage. It changes the atmosphere as well as it helps to absorb not only our sinful karma, but it can help others also to change their sanskar. At the moment, there is no other question in the chatting box. Those who feel to give question, you can write chat or you can now speak. Yes, you can open uh, mic and speak if you have question. Trish, you want to ask? Om Shanti, yeah, I'm happy to ask. You know, Didi, it's such a, um, it's such a stage that it requires such a lot of subtlety to experience and to be in concentration power and so many practices. And so in your experience, because you know you are able to experience seed stage very readily, very easily, what do you think are the most important practices you have that enable you to be able to be, to achieve the seed stage and hold it? Main thing is one has to be practicing bodiless state. First we start soul consciousness, then we go to bodiless stage, and then we become just a dot. So more we practice bodiless state throughout the day, easy to stabilize in the seed state. So aim has to be there. To be translator, keep your thing on a silence. So main thing you have to have aim to go on a higher stage and throughout the day pay attention on soul consciousness, detachment and having aim to be in a dot form, in corporeal form. Thank you so much, Didi. If I can just ask one more thing, because sometimes, um, you know, there's some confusion about the bodiless stage. And I know that you've said that you really have that aim to be bodiless in action. And so for you, what does that, what is that experience when maybe you're doing simple action 
and you're in the bodyless stage. Can you describe how you get that? And what is that stage when you are doing some movement and you are being bodyless in that action, just to help us understand it more clearly? Just to forget body and feel as if you are wearing angelic costume, the angelic costume of light. So move around with that awareness, I am angel. So as an angel, at night when you go to sleep, have awareness, I am the angel going to the subtle region to rest in Bab Dada's lap. In the morning, wake up and have awareness. I am incarnation. I'm going to the corporeal world to play my part of purifying the impure ones to help Baba. So that's how you are remaining in that angelic stage and Amratvela have aim to be a dot and deeply in love of Baba. So mine is only one Baba. My, so me and Baba and nobody else. Here's uh, another question. What is the difference between bodiless stage and seed stage? Which stage? Bodiless stage and bodiless. seed stage. Bodiless is being angel and forget physical body. And that is very easy to practice throughout the day. But a seed stage is much higher, just being dot and completely unaware of this old world. So that's where you have to go beyond everything, body, bodily relation, whole world, and merge in Baba's remembrance. So it's very powerful and takes time and attention. Okay, the next question. When we have yoga with Baba in Paramdham, does that vibration go to the physical world? Of course. That's what we do, no? While world meditation hour, or even when we are trying to give sakas to our friends who are sick or suffering, we we go to Parabdham and be with Baba and spread those vibrations to the world. Okay, thank you, Didi. And the next one is, how long can one maintain seed stage? <laughs> it depends on one's practice. I find in half an hour, evening yoga, I try to be in the seed stage. Out of half an hour, I can maintain 10 to 15 minutes maximum. Okay, uh, the next one. Are there different levels of seed stage? Or is it a matter of intensity of the point-to-point -point experience? There are no different stages, but different experiences, depending on what we focus on. Because as I said, I may focus on Baba's love. And I may experience waves of love or I may experience waves of silence, happiness, bliss. So depending on what I want to experience, I can focus on Baba's those qualities and I feel I'm surrounded by those waves. Okay, 
Thank you, Didi. Uh, the next question, I think you probably covered this, but I will read it anyway. When you have seed stage, what kind of thoughts you have, or do you just uh, experience your seed form? We should not have any thoughts. It's just experience. And we may have the aim that I want to experience Baba's love today. So we sit with that aim, but we can't start thinking, oh, Baba, you are ocean of love. That's chit chat. Not seed stage. Seed stage, you just be dot merge in Baba's thoughts. Okay, uh, so next question. Maybe this person can uh, open mic and ask directly. Oh, okay. Self-service and word service, which works best during seed stage? Can you repeat it? Uh, Self-service and word service, which one works best during seed stage? Both can work. If you want self-service, it's fine. If you want world service, that's also possible. It's on you to decide whether you want to absolve your vikarma or whether you want to spread the vibrations in the world. Okay, the next one. Um, C stage is the stage which will burn your sins. So I think that was covered. <laughs> uh, and the next one, do our sins, uh, our, um, do our sins absorbed only in seed stage? Yes. Only in seed stage or volcanic stage. Okay, so these were the questions that came up in the chat box and I don't see any more questions. Anybody who want to ask question directly to Didi? There's a question. Okay, so... Um, There are two questions come. Okay, what is the difference between sea stage and volcanic stage? Mm -hmm. uh, volcanic stage is you are like volcano. <laughs> so there is a, so much heat and fire. So volcanic can be seen from distance. Nowadays, we can see the volcano from distance of hundreds of cal kilometers. And when volcano goes down, it carries lava. And lava will pull everything away with it. So it's like feeling as if you are being washed of all your sins. So at the same time you are feeling, you are being washed and cleansed and your sins are running away from you. Okay. And you feel that inner heat and others also feel that powerful vibration. So it's in terms of the intensity, it's much stronger, you are saying, Didi? Okay, the next, want to add something? <laughs> okay, yeah. what karma are we, uh, uh, what karma should we do and what karma we should not do to experience seed stage? We should not be doing any 
sinful karma hurting anyone through thoughts, words, or action. And the karma that we have to do, it's just charitable karma, give happiness to others. So main thing we have to pay attention on our mind and intellect that we are not wasting our thoughts and energy and we are in deep love with Baba. Okay, thank you Didi. The next question, when DDG experienced the seed stage first, can you share your experience of the experience um, the, when you first experienced it? What I felt is Baba's deep love and those waves surrounding me. So as I said, is I usually try to change from loveful stage to peaceful stage. So then I feel that waves of peace are surrounding me or third, I experience I am on the top of the Kalpa tree and being a lighthouse, white house, spreading the waves of light and mind in the world. So different time, I try to have different stage. Okay, uh, next question. How to recognize we are maintaining seed stage? The mind is not wandering here and there and is not even aware of whatever is happening around. That means we are in that powerful stage. Mind is just focused. Thank you, Didi. Uh, Rajini, Didi? Rajini uh, I, uh, I wanted to also add, isn't it, Didi Nirmala, during the day, as you said, mind is not wandering here, there. Sometimes very subtle interests in some scars the soul has to listen, you know, to get involved in any scene of drama with any soul. That subtle interest, I think I have to watch constantly during the day because those subtle sanskars, uh, interest in the sanskar will be coming in the mind in the form of wandering thoughts here and there, you know, taking interest in other people's life, taking interest what is happening in the world. So I think the most important I find is that very subtle attention on what interest still I have of this Kali Yuga in my memory, in my sanskar, to work on that level so that my mind does not want. Total disinterest in the old yeah, world. Disinterest, in total. Short. Total, total vairagya. And so much interest, real, real work of Baba, transformation work, what Baba is doing. I am really involved with Baba now. No more interest in this world. That level of Vairagya. <laughs> if subtle interest, it is such a pull. It can take your attention away. You know, even you might think, okay, I want to now sit in meditation, concentrate fully, and really want to experience beautiful stage, seed stage. And if there is subtle interest comes in, in the mind, gone. Yeah. So that's why I think it's a, uh, as Didi said, you know, Vairagya at that level, even <laughs> no subtle interest, even in the world. Okay, there is one uh, other question here. Do we give good wishes from the subtle region or from Paramdham or from both? From everywhere, from here also. From <laughs> the world also, we can give good wishes from subtle region also, 
but from subtle region and soul world we usually give shakash yoga current to the soul to help that soul but good wishes we can give even in the corporeal world when all these things are going to support for seed stage what they are asking question isn't it good wishes from anywhere you continue to do good karma you continue to do give happiness to other this all going to lead to help us to really be aware of you know what during the day activity which when you sit mind gets concentrated it's not wandering and there's uh, another one while in seed stage is it possible to accumulate that stage and use uh, to destroy bad atmosphere like hospitals of course it can help to spread those vibration of peace and happiness around anywhere whether it is a hospital or the world or war wherever it is because we know when we were had that million minutes of peace appeal project we were just telling people to have meditation or positive thoughts or peaceful prayer and so many wars stopped Didi, can I ask one more question? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I like Baba says. You know, we have to build the stage, and you know, sometimes Daddy Janky used to say, "The stage is even more and love the stage even more than Baba." You know, she would sometimes joke, but also serious. So, do you feel like when you put that focus on the seed stage and you really build it? that you start to feel so detached from here rather than the gravity pulling you into this corporeal world it's almost like you are pulled that way you know your consciousness is naturally going that way it's like you break the gravity to the pull of this world i mean we yeah, often yeah. see i feel that in your stage when i look at you it's like you're very much with us which i think people experience with brahma baba right when he was getting close to that stage so you're you're here with us you're responding but it's like you're you are that way rather than this way <laughs> yes of course it has to be beyond gravity beyond everything because then only you can merge in she baba's remembrance but then also after that experience when you're here with us now it's like you're here you're responding to us but it's very much i would say like your consciousness is more there it's so easy for you to be there and it's i think that's something that you know for us maybe many of us have already got that but for me to work on that so that the consciousness goes more that way than this way through the the practice as we build the practice we are naturally pulled to the incorporeal world not the corporeal definitely one has to build up that practice it's not very easy but you have to have attention and determination to go beyond in a pram stage or pram because that otherwise we're making such hard work to change all these sense gas all the other it's like we're plowing the ground but if we can work for that and and then it you know it becomes so much easier yeah okay there is no other question at the moment so maybe we should it's just a matter of actually doing the meditation <laughs> so yeah you can see the stage yeah it's good good to have 15 minutes that in corporeal seat stage
So okay. we look forward. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank, thank you, Mirabel. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Rashmi Ben. Thank you, Rashmi Ben.